Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. I have not done a DIY project in so long. There's been so much going on. First of all, I got married and then I moved. So my husband and I have really just been soaking up time together, but we are so excited to jump into DIY projects and make this house our home. So we are so excited to do DIY projects together and share them with you guys. Also, thank you to this video sponsor, Jardina. They're an online outdoor furniture store, and I got to work with them to pick out the perfect set to finish off our back patio that you'll see later in this video. I am so excited to jump back into these DIY projects, so let's get started. All right, y'all, so this is what our patio looked like to start off with. We had some older furniture on the back patio that we sold on Facebook Marketplace. Here's my husband just blowing off and cleaning and power washing the entire patio before we put anything new. This was such a huge help, and he got to break out the power washer, so he loved it. I then started making all the cuts for what will be a bench swing. I've made one of these before. I will put the link to that video in the description. The designs are slightly different. I adjusted them a little bit based on things I liked and disliked about the other one. Here I'm just using a very cheap pocket hole jig to make pocket holes and they are just the cleanest and the best looking for any kind of woodworking project in my opinion. Y'all, if you have stuck around for any of my project videos, you know I cannot get through a single project without making some kind of measuring mistake. It, it's my flaw, I'll admit it, but thank God I married this man because he is a solution finder, let me tell you. He came in and saved the day and made it all work. All right, can you see it now? Can you see the vision? It's starting to look like a swing and we had to do a dance break. Once we got the frame built, we went and put all of the brace supports in for both the cushion on the bottom and the pillows on the back. Here I am drilling holes to where we are gonna put the rope in to hang the swing. We then decided to go with a full black swing and y'all, this looks so sleek once it's all done. Next, Mason had the hardest part of hanging the hardware that we are going to hang <laughs> the swing from. He was so proud of himself getting the first one in. Um, we used these D-rings and we drilled them into the studs in the ceiling and then we tied the rope to them and then strung the rope through the hole of the bench swing and tied a knot at the bottom. We were a little hesitant. We were thinking that it wasn't going to be uh, good enough. There's me testing out the rope to see if it's going to hold my weight, but it ended up working perfect. Now, I was so excited to get this package from Jardina. They were nice enough to send me the cutest chairs and table set to complement our back patio swing and really finish off the space and add more seating. We really want to host people on our back patio, so this was just such a perfect addition. These pieces were so easy to put together. If you guys really like these or want to check out what else they have, I'll put the link to their website in the description of this video. Next, I got some outdoor pillow covers from Amazon. These are so awesome. I can just slip them off and throw them in the washing machine anytime I need to. The cushion for the swing is actually a crib mattress. So I got a waterproof cover for it and a waterproof sheet that I can also just take off and throw in the washing machine anytime it's dirty, which is amazing. I got this rug at Home Goods on sale and I absolutely love it. It adds a pop of color to the space. This is a fire pit table we already had, added some decor, and here's a reminder of what it looked like before, and here is the after. We love how this turned out. If you guys like this video, give it a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, and I'll be posting more DIY videos.